Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of permutations and combinations. And in this question, we have been told that there is an entire list of odd numbers starting from 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And this list goes up till 151. So 1 to 151, there is a list of odd numbers. From this entire list of odd numbers that are present, we have to select any two of them. So two numbers need to be selected and the two numbers that are selected are multiplied together in all possible ways. And we have been asked to find the number of ways in which this product of two numbers which are selected out of the list of odd numbers will be a multiple of five. So we need to find the number of ways in which the product that is formed by selecting two numbers out of this entire list will get easily divisible by 5. So let's understand how to solve that question. So first thing, if I try to understand here the solution, I'll first need to find out how many odd numbers we are talking about, right? So if I see this list of odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, till 151, we have to let's first find out that how many odd numbers are there. And if I see here the list, I can see that between every consecutive term, there is a common difference of two, right? And when there is a common difference between the consecutive terms, that sequence is in arithmetic progression. So now if I use the idea, nth term, I know that is 151. So nth term is a plus n minus 1d. So if I use this idea, I know the value of nth term is 151. a is nothing but your first term, that is 1. n is number of terms, I do not know that. And the difference between each consecutive terms is given to us as 2. So 151 minus 1, that is 150, divided by 2 is equal to n minus 1. So you get n minus 1 is equal to 75 and from this equation I get n as 75 plus 1, 76. So in this entire list of odd numbers from 1 to 151 which is given to us, there are 76 terms that are present, that is 76 odd numbers are present. Out of this 76 odd numbers, they have told us you have to select any two and find out number of ways in which it should be a multiple of 5. So first of all, to understand, there are no even numbers present. So I cannot have a 0 in the units place to get divisible by 5. So you will have to find the numbers which will end up in 5, right? To find that, let's understand how many multiples of 5 are present in this list. So let's find that also out. So if I see the first multiple that will be present is 5, then we will have 15, 25, 35, 45. Likewise, the last multiple will be 145. So if I find out how many number of multiples of 5 I have here, again the last term is 145. I know the first term. I know the common difference between consecutive terms is 10. So again, this sequence is also an arithmetic function. So if I again use the idea, nth term is a plus n minus 1d. You get it as 145 is equal to 5 plus n. I do not know the difference between each terms is e, 10. So I get here 140 is equal to 10 into e minus 1. You get 14 plus 1, that is So n is equal to 15. So what I understand is basically total there are 76 terms in the entire list of odd numbers from 1 to 151 and out of those total 76 the multiples of 5 that are present in the entire list are 15. So if multiples of 5 that are present in the entire list of odd numbers is 15 
the numbers which are not multiples of 5 would be 76 minus 15, that is 16. Right? Now let's try to solve the question which is asked to us. We have been told that two numbers are selected from this entire list of 76 terms. We need to find the number of ways in which the product which is formed is a multiple of 5. Let's find out. So number of ways in which the product is multiple of 5. Or I can say product is divisible. So basically one idea, there can be two cases here again. One idea can be that if I select both the numbers from this list of multiples of 5 and if I multiply them, that will be a multiple of 5. The product will be a multiple of 5, right? So I know I have 15 multiples of 5 that are present in this entire list of 76 terms. So from those 15 multiples only, I'll select the two of them. So it is 15 C2, right? Or, so whenever I use or, we put an addition sign. Other case can be that out of those 15 terms, I will have to select one of the term that will be a multiple of 5. And from the remaining non-multiples of 5 that are 61 numbers, I'll select the one number. So that the product again becomes a multiple of 5 because you have already selected a multiple of 5 from the 15 terms. So you get here 15 C2, that is 15 into 14 upon 2. Here you have 15 into 61. So you get the answer here 15 into 7, that is 105. Here you get it as 61 into 15. So 15 ones are 15, 15 six are 90. So you have 915 here. So basically total number of ways that I get here is 5 plus 5, 10, 1 carry, 1 plus 1, 2, 9 plus 1, 10. So total number of ways in which you select the two numbers out of those 76 odd list of numbers and the condition that it product will become a multiple of 5 is 1020 ways. So you can select two numbers out of 76 in 1020 ways such that if you multiply the two numbers, you will get the product as a multiple of five. Product has to be divisible by five. And for that, we have 1020 ways. And if you see the answer for the question that is given to us, the correct answer for the question is question C. So C is the correct answer. I hope you have understood how to solve this types of question. So first we found out the total number of terms that are present entirely in the list. The number of odd numbers I have is 76. Out of that, I found out how many multiples of 5 are present in the list. We got it as 15. So 15 multiples of 5 are present. So the remaining 61 are not the multiples of 5. And to find the product multiple of 5 and two numbers are selected. I can select the two numbers out of the list of 15 multiples of 5 or I can select one out of the list of multiples and one out of the list of non-multiples such that it also becomes or the product also becomes a multiple. So we get the answer as 1020 weeks. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of IIT. Thank you.